So Fran and I just got back from a 10 day volunteer trip to Nicaragua, but now I'm back and heading to Elmark's to get right back on the 240. All right, so this will be the second day of working on the car. Let's see how much we can get done today. I think we're gonna start with trying to pull out this lower door mount. And got this guy aligned to try and pull it out. But before we start pulling it, we need to strap the car basically to the frame machine. Otherwise it'll just slide all over the place or off the rack. That would not be good. Two zip ties, quick release. Anyone selling a left side skirt? <laughs> Just kidding. A lot of people were saying the frame just like turned into a noodle after the crash. And if I can jack it up from the pinch weld like this and it not even bend, I mean, it may look like a wet noodle, but it's a dry noodle. All right, now we're gonna take off all the wheels. All right, we got the car all strapped in. I think now we should be ready to pull it. Wow, that already looks better. This looks crazy right here. Yeah. 4,000 pounds. 4,000 pounds? Yeah. See that? Almost. Alright, so now we're going to take off the hood. It's really fun taking off a hood by yourself, especially on top of a frame rack. Let's hope I don't scratch the paint. <laughs> I might just Honda hood it, which means putting it straight up. Uh, is this fender garbage? I actually got this hood for free and it came with this free design. Thanks, Mitchie. Oops. I scratched the paint. <laughs> Curious to see how much more this will straighten out. That's some thick metal. That's a 
really good crunch. All right, so we got bolts matched up. Gonna tighten this down real quick. Let's see how far they gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Should I change this? Yeah. All right. We've changed the position of this from here to here. Especially since the car got hit going this way. It would make more sense to pull it out this way. Then we move this guy around. We're gonna try a different spot. I'm gonna put the chain through this outer piece here. All right. If we keep pulling it, it's just gonna warp everything else. Just need to pull the interior, find out where we're gonna cut it, and then go from there. Well, it's kind of nice that everything is quick release. This is the good side. All right. That's the smash side. Well, I think that's the body line. I'm gonna take off the Type X wing just cause I don't wanna risk it getting damaged. There's not too many of these OEM wings left, so I want to take as good of care of it as I can. Before I take off these taillights, I wanted to show you this rear view camera I put in. It fits perfectly in the keyhole spot. I can't show you it working right now, unfortunately, <laughs> but... Hopefully someday I can. So here's a pro tip for you. If you plan on putting your car back together, try and put as many nuts and bolts where they belong because you'll find that you spend more time looking for your hardware putting the car back together than you do actually putting the car back together, if that makes sense. If you're wondering what happened to the other taillights, I changed them for the stocks just because I didn't want them to get damaged at the shop. Uh, that's another reason I took off the rear lip. Probably should have took off the wing and the bumper and skirt. But it is what it is. We're gonna try and pull out this quarter window. Once we puncture enough through, with the blade. We can then put in this little thin metal wire. It's like a guitar string. I don't think it actually is a guitar string, but it like looks like one. And you like fish it through. You attach the metal string to 
each of these and you just like beat it up. I'm really nervous that I'm gonna break it. We're gonna check the other side to see how it looks. Looks like there's a little clip here. Another clip. Another clip. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get these off. I'm starting to think this may not be a good spot to start since there's like a huge locked off spot here. There's no access to really get the string through. So the top has a shorter gap. So I'm gonna try it here. But the thing is, if I put the blade in too far, it'll start to hit the glass, which could shatter it. So I'm gonna try and be really cautious to not put the blade in too far. Try and shove this guy in there. Yes. Finally got it through. That took longer than it should have. <laughs> so we're actually making some pretty good progress. It looks like there's a chrome piece of tape behind the glass. It'd be cool to put like LEDs right here. That took way longer than it should have. I guess, I don't even know how long that should have taken. How long does it take to pull windows? I don't know. Nasty. All right, now I'm gonna take off the rear bumper because if we cut the quarter panel, we're gonna need to cut it straight down or at least including this part so bumpers gotta go this bumper is really heavy i was not expecting that Looks like a demolition derby car. <laughs> I forgot to take off the trunk seal. Let me try this. These are just a few of the cars that Elmark has done over the years. And actually, the orange JDM Integra was his, and also the Mark IV Supra. Unfortunately, he sold them. I would have been excited to see it. But how cool is that, that we both are into JDM Integras? But a lot of great work, a lot of like original 2000s styling. It's just really cool to see. And hopefully when my car is done, it'll be able to be put on the wall. I'll link the playlist to the rest of the crash related videos in the description that way you can get up to speed at what all is going on or if you're interested in seeing what else happened in addition I'll leave the link to the merch as well I'm thinking about making another design maybe like a collab shirt with Elmark's auto body that'd be pretty cool I don't know what do you think what design would be cool on a shirt let me know see you guys next time